G'day guys. Next up, I've got the queen of C++, Kate Gregory. She's going to talk about the revitalization of C++ and Windows 8. Check it out. So, do you want to uh, tell me a bit about yourself? Um, sure. I like to say I'm in my fourth decade of being paid to program. Uh, I do a lot of C++ and I am a C++ MVP, but I, I do other software development as well. So tell me, what is something you can do, like I know C, C++ can perform better than C Sharp. Yes. What is something that you can do in C++ that we can't do in C Sharp? I'll give you three different answers. One is the language itself, like I mentioned about templates versus generics. There are things in C++ that are resolved at compile time, that in C Sharp and VB are resolved at runtime, which naturally will make your runtime a little slower. It has to. Right. It gives you a little more flexibility, but you pay for it, right? So those are language differences. Yep. The second would be libraries. So in C++, we have libraries like PPL and C++ AMP that tap into some astonishing power. So what does AMP give you? So the massive refers to, you know, you know about CPU multi-threading. Yes. Two, four, maybe eight. You also have in your machine a GPU. Yes. And the that graphics, graphics pro processing unit has probably got as much or more memory and oomph as your CPU. So programming the GPU, not to make graphics calculations, but to do like calculation calculations, how much should we charge for this insurance policy, you can actually leverage the GPU to do that. And so C++ AMP lets you write in C++, so you have templates, exceptions, all the stuff you expect to have in C++ in classes, mm. but to call the GPU from your code. So when you write this bit of AMP code, is, are these language extensions? Yes, there is a little, mostly library, and a tiny little bit of language extension, which is, did you ever do any C++? No, thank God. Okay. That's why I'm so, still normal. We have, yeah, maybe so. <laughs> uh, yeah, we have a concept in C++ called const, which is where you promise you won't change something. And then if you write code that changes, you say, the constant i and then later you go i equals three the problem is like what are you doing you said it was const so there's a new word for amp which is restrict which basically says i promise i won't do anything that can't go on the gpu like pointer arithmetic right and so that little extension up to the language and then all the rest is library so you've got a, a c sharp developer with a large project what are some of the things that he could uh, potentially identify like what are common quintessential bottlenecks that that library that that one little library should be done in C++. Let's start with something obvious. A number of my customers have a C++ engine that they're talking to from a C# -sharp front end, a UI of some kind. And now they're noticing a performance problem when they get up to a certain size. So to actually just look at the way the interop is being done and to maybe move the interop boundary to so say you're doing this in C# -sharp. If you do this in C++, the interop boundary is going to move, less data will marshal back and forth, we're going to have a performance improvement. So that's one thing. The second is if someone comes to me with, with describing a situation that's clearly data parallel, where they're doing the same calculation to a tremendous amount of data at once. Thousands, hundreds of thousands of data points having the same calculation done on them. That's naturally data parallel, and I'd, I'd point them towards AMP. So in the uh, C++ world, how... Um uh, how, how test driven are you? Do, you? do you cover a lot of your code with tests? No, but now this is changing because Visual Studio has not had the same support for C++ as it's had for the other languages. So one of the rock star talks at TechEd in Atlanta back in May yeah. was here are the ALM features in, they were calling it VNext back then, yes. right, VS11. The guy gets up and he's like, do you know what would be cool if you could test your code with, with code? And the audience is like, and I'm, I'm, I can't believe it. This is like your most basic intro to unit testing ever. And the audience is like, you know, this is great stuff because we've never had it. Right. So they wrote a calculator and they wrote an add method and then they wrote a little test to prove that if you add two and two, you get four. And, you know, I can see all these people. They're going to go back to their bosses and say, we need this product. Because C++ people want to live that life. Right. But they haven't had an integrated story in Visual Studio to live that life with. What are some of the key things that when you're with a customer um, that annoy you? or that you recommend? Bad habits that I see? Yeah, G give me a few. Well, manual memory management now makes me mad. I have, my, I have a bunch of sayings. One of them is the compiler is your friend. Right. Because I'm really in favor of strong typing and catching everything at compile time rather than at runtime. But the other is smart programmers use smart pointers. So, so does that mean that you 
requiring them to go to Visual Studio 2010 for this? I, I want them on 2010. Straight away Absolutely. for these features. Just get up right. and get, because there's language features and there's library features, there's smart pointers, and it's also a better performant. So how big has the, the Apple um, Objective-C++ and Objective-C and yeah. um, the, the new That's build huge. stuff, how big is this uh, kick-starting the C++ community? You know, people are going into programming so that they can write iPad apps and iPhone apps. I mean, I meet them because I teach a second year course. And right. I ask them, why are you here? And they say, I'm gonna write, I want to write for the iPhone, I want to write for the iPad. But a C++ developer might say, hey, I can use the language I know to write for a tablet that's on the desktop. Windows market share dwarfs everybody else. I know on tablets, iPad yeah. dwarfs everybody, and, and Android is, you don't really know what's going on. But if it's Windows, Windows, and people just can naturally put it there, I saw the survey said 42% of people want a Windows tablet. There isn't one, and they want one, right? How many more would want it if there was one? So that's a huge market to tap. Well, with that, I'm uh, I'm off to um, the waterfalls. Niagara Falls. Niagara Falls. <laughs> <laughs> is it going to be good? It's going to be awe-inspiring. It really is. It's going to be awesome in the old sense of the word. Okay. All right. Well, I'll try not to fall down. Do not fall down. Don't <laughs> drop your children either. <laughs> well, thank you, Kate. Thank it's been you. Awesome. Bye. So with this, this is Adam Kogan signing off until next time. Before you go, I've got a task for you. Go to tv.ssw.com and subscribe to our newsletter. You'll be informed of all upcoming videos. In addition, if you're super keen, I'm all about inspecting and adapting. So send me an email or send me a tweet, at Adam Kogan. Cheers.